on guys welcome to today's video it is day four of this cut and i am feeling great we are currently 7.8 pounds down just hit 229.9 this morning which i probably haven't been in the 220s in a little while currently i am on my way into the gym i've got physical therapy to do at 11 30. i'm not gonna be filming that I don't know if they would allow cameras in there and I don't feel like asking. Then after physical therapy, I'm gonna do my run. I think today it's a foundation run. Foundation meaning that it's building the foundation of your aerobic capacity. So most of the minutes are spent in zone two. I think it's a 50 minute run. So it should be five minutes in zone one and then 40 minutes in zone two and then a cool down of another five minutes in zone one. After that, I'm going to be lifting and I'm gonna be doing chest, shoulders, and triceps again. Probably wondering where the hell is leg day. Today's Thursday, so I plan on doing chest today, back tomorrow, and then I'll officially do legs on Saturday. My main reasoning for doing that this week is tomorrow's the first. If you've been watching my videos, you know that one of my goals is to run a five minute mile uh, sometime this year. On January 1st, I did a mile time trial and ran it in eight minutes. So tomorrow, I plan on doing another mile time trial as long as my legs feel good. And if I did squats and stuff today, my legs definitely would not feel good and it would probably hinder my run. So I'm gonna save my leg day for Saturday. My diet today is gonna be more like it was on day one and day two. 248 grams of protein, 248. Yesterday I realized that I said 148 grams of protein. It's definitely 248. So that's 248 grams of protein, 248 grams of carbs, and about 24 grams of fat. So as I've said in my other videos, I'm gonna to try to make my food choices differ on a daily basis so that that sort of keeps things interesting. However, I will keep having the shake that I have been having because that has really made things easy for me. And that's one thing that I wanna to talk to you guys about as far as diet goes is stick to what's simple. If you find something that you really like and it's easy for you to do, there's really no reason to change it. All right, guys, so it's gonna be a little busy in the gym. Today I'm gonna to do a routine that utilizes some machines, not just free weights, like last time. So because of that, I'm gonna run through everything right now while I'm on my way to the gym. Because I'm gonna to try to film this kind of discreet. I don't think people at our gym are used to anybody filming in there, so I'd rather not freak anybody out by trying to talk to my camera in public in the middle of a workout. I'm gonna try to be as discreet and polite as possible. And just set my camera up and film stuff and then dub it over this while I explain what I plan on doing. So my goal today is to do all exercises that I did not do on Monday, and we're gonna be doing four sets of 15 at every exercise. So this allows us to work a different rep range and work different muscle fibers and use heavier weights than what we used on Monday. So first up, I'm gonna scoot a bench under a Smith machine, and then I'm going to do some flat bench press under that. I like to use a Smith machine sometimes, especially now because I'm 16 weeks post-op, from my lat surgery. So I, I'm still kind of taking it easy and slowly uh, returning to the weights that I used before. I mean, I certainly can't do the weights I used before just because I haven't lifted in so long. But, so using a Smith machine for bench pressing is a little easier on my shoulders, a little easier on my lats, and just allows me to focus on pressing the weight and trying to focus more on my chest and getting the chest stimulus. After that, I'm gonna kind of do the same method that I did on Monday where I did chest, shoulders, chest, shoulders, and then triceps. So next being a shoulder exercise, we're going to do a seated dumbbell overhead press. Not like an Arnold press where you bring them in front, but I'm just gonna do like a straight up press. I try to take the insides of the dumbbells and touch them to my shoulders and then just press straight up. Uh, I try to keep my head forward. I, I try to avoid looking up and trying to keep my back as flat as possible. You wanna try to aim to make your biceps touch your ears on this workout. Next up, we're gonna go back to chest and we're gonna do dips because we did not do any sort of decline motion Monday. So again, because I am post-op 16 weeks, uh, my dips are going to be assisted with a band. If you can't do dips, if you can't do body weight dips, I highly recommend that you just add a band underneath your feet and use that to help push you up. We're going for four sets of 15 here, so if 15 reps is easy for you, feel free to add weight by 
either adding a weight vest or hanging uh, or hanging some plates off of a belt or holding a dumbbell between your feet. After that, we're gonna go back to shoulders and we're gonna get on this lateral raise machine. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I mean, the only tip I have is I try to bring them up fast and bring them down slow and try to focus on my side delts stretching on the way down. Flies with the cables. This is probably one of my favorite finishing exercises for the chest because I can just do high reps, really feel the stretch, really pump some blood into those muscles. And then for triceps, I'm gonna do a superset with the rope, doing just a tricep extension, like a push down and then a, an overhead tricep extension where my butt is against the cable post and I'm just pressing out for four sets of 15 on each one. Really try to squeeze that tricep at the end and that's probably going to do it for that workout. All right guys, so I am on my way home. There is one thing I need to pick up at the grocery store that I'm going to have today that I don't have in stock at home because I never really eat it. But you guys need to see that you can eat a wide variety of stuff and still make progress. That's why If It Fits Your Macros is such a great tool of a diet to use. So I'm pulling up to Jewel now, which is the name of the grocery stores we have here in Chicago. I'm gonna run in, grab that, run out, and then head home and get my shake made up. got something I need to say to my videos the percentage of videos watched by non subscribers is 73% what the hell why don't you just subscribe it's not like it costs you anything and you'll be updated every time that I put a video up like what what's wrong with that it's not like it costs you anything to subscribe and you get these great videos where you learn what I eat you get to see what somebody who's getting lean as hell is eating why wouldn't you want that why wouldn't you want to see that and guys let me uh, let me just say I'm not going to fail at this like this is what I do you know this is this is what I help other people do this is what I've done for myself many times like I know how to go through this and I know how to cut weight and I know how to get lean and I know how to maintain being lean and the reason I'm where I'm at right now is because I got injured and I couldn't work out it was very unmotivating and uh, you know not being active and eating the same amount of calories <sighs> you put on weight you put on fat muscle gets lost it's what happened but I'm not gonna fail. I know exactly what I'm gonna look like when I get there. That's the thing that I feel like why a lot of people fail is because they just, they don't believe that they can do it to begin with. Like they see someone on TV and my girlfriend does this. She says, she sees someone on TV who is in great shape and She's like, she says to me, do you think she's hot? And I say, hell no, she ain't hot. <laughs> but the thing is, is that I'm like, you could look like that if you wanted. And immediately she's just like, oh, no, I could not. Not with that attitude, you won't. <clears throat> you have to have the right attitude. You have to believe what you can achieve. 
How about that? <laughs> but it's true, if you can't visualize success, if you can't visualize this happening, you'll never make it. You won't. You have to believe in yourself that you just, you just know that there's nothing that can come in your way of making this happen, you know? And, and that's what I have. And that's what I've always had. And, and I just, I know that I'm going to have no problem with this. <clears throat> and I just feel like too many people try. They're just trying. They're trying to do it. Instead of just fucking doing it and getting the job done and moving on with your life, you know? So, in the words of Yoda, <laughs> try not. Do or do not. There is no try. All right, guys, end rant. I just got done drinking my shake and I've got two meals planned out today. Tonight I have three clients uh, at 5, 6, and 7 p.m. So it is currently 3.30. So I have one hour before I have to leave for that. And I have two meals. We're looking at 12 ounces of chicken breast, 200 grams of broccoli, and 70 grams weighed raw of rice. That is one of the meals and then the other meal is going to basically be a bowl of cereal we're looking at two cups of that cashigo lean granola crunch and then three servings of cinnamon toast crunch and instead of using milk in it we're going to be using egg whites 13 ounces worth of egg whites to be exact if you haven't tried it i highly recommend you do because uh it tastes like milk and it's delicious. But the timing of these meals, that's what, uh, trying to set you down so my arms, my arms getting tired. Um, the timing of these meals. All right, <clears throat> so here's what I'm gonna do. I don't wanna eat both of these after work. I just wanna eat one of them. Because I just now worked out, it's, it would be a better decision to have the high carb meal now and then the other meal after work. So in about 30 minutes, I'm going to make up the bowl of cereal, eat that, and then uh, head off to work. All right guys, so here's what's going on. We're gonna get a big bowl. We're gonna get out some cereal. I think we've got three, three servings of this and two servings of this and 13 ounces of this. All right guys, so this meal is 978 calories, 61 grams of protein, 14.7 grams of fat, and 148 grams of carbs. Let's see how this tastes. I've missed that cereal. All right guys, so that was meal two. I haven't had cereal in a long time. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't. All right, so we got one more meal to go. I'm gonna have that after work. I'm gonna be done tonight at eight o'clock. And let me just, you know, tell you guys again right now, because I'm just gonna come home and cook this. All right, so last meal of the day. We're doing 12 ounces of chicken breast, 200 grams of broccoli uh, weighed raw, and 70 grams of raw rice. I'm gonna do all of this in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna put one cup of water in the bottom of the Instant Pot. We're gonna put our rice 
in the water and then we're gonna put the little grate on top of that to keep the chicken out of the rice. One pound of raw chicken <clears throat> cooks into 12 ounces of cooked chicken. Just a heads up there. Uh, so we're going to do that and then on top of the chicken we're gonna put our broccoli on top of that. Cooking it for um, we'll probably set it for eight minutes. Enjoy that footage. I'm gonna sign out right now by saying thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or email me at chaseirons at gmail.com. Leave a thumbs up for the series because we're just getting started. This is day four of day what? I mean, until we get to April? I'm gonna be grinding for 90 days. Right? Is that what it is? 84 days? <clears throat> Be prepared for that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed because there's a lot of you watching that aren't subscribed. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you next time.